Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dylan right again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining the channel. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you if you haven't subscribed to the channel to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm pretty excited and I'm going to do another video on Oculus development. I know many of you ask me for new videos and I'm doing another video because I really enjoy that process. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be incorporating an asset that Cynthia Studios provide to me which is called the Low Poly Science Fiction City. And that asset, it's gonna basically be really, really cool. I'm really excited about the results. So let's jump into Unity and start working on our scene. Thank you guys. So let me show you what I did to create and basically import this scene into Unity. So the first thing that I wanna show you, I wanna show you how it looks before we continue. And I already built it and I have it in my Oculus Quest running. So let me go ahead and pull that video so that you can see it. So I'm just going to pull it from my downloads and then show you the video. And let me just fast forward it just a little bit. There we go. And you can see that I am basically moving around. And I'm just going to go into some of the cars and, and see, how, see how they look. I also left some of the skulls from the other from the other level by mistake uh, but if I wanted to pick them up I, I could since they have a, a grabbable component but the main the main reason why I wanted to show you this thing is because it shows the power of you know using some of the assets from the asset stores such as this one which is from Cinti Studio and is there science fiction science fiction asset so I'm just going to show you the scene by walking around and, and you can observe as I, as I go around and look at different items. And this was really cool because I actually got into the car and you can see that everything everything looks just similar to how it would look when you're inside of the car. I'm also, I'm also looking at some cars that are right above it and some of the cars that are cl that are cleaning the streets. This is another car that I, I just wanted to experiment to see how it would feel to be inside of these cars. And I could continue and show you more, but I want to I want to go ahead and go back into Unity and show you some of the setup. So you can see that I have the controllers available in this scene. And if I go here and I look at the entire scene, so this is the entire scene that Cinti Studios provides. You can see that I can there's a lot of props and a lot of different assets that you can use. Not only for a game like this, but you could incorporate some of these different assets for other games, such as, you know, there's this little robot that could work with many different games. You also have, you know, the cars, of course, that I show you that are futuristic. Here's also my player controller that I just show you. And also some of the mistakes that I made, such as these calls, which I'm going to, I'm just going to go ahead and remove them. There we go. So just to keep it clean and also the motorcycle I thought that was that was pretty neat. And yeah, everything in this in this scene is really it looks really, really great. So what is the setup and what do you need to do to do something like this? So the first thing that you would need to do is of course download the asset. And you can download the asset either from you know going to the asset store and searching for the polygon sci-fi city. So we can do that so that you can see it. It's going to search for that and you can see that it comes up right away. They of course have all stars because this asset is just beautiful. And you can download it from there. I also going to include it in the, you know, in the description of this video. So you're more than welcome to, to get it that way. So once you download it and you import it, you're going to have a folder just like this. And you have, you know, of course, materials, which are some of the materials for the different assets. Also all different models that are displayed in the asset. Everything is pretty well organized in the scene. So you can see that they have a really good convention on the naming. 
And also if I go to prefab, there's a bunch of prefabs in there that you can use. Here's all the buildings. Let me go ahead and make it big so you can see some of those bu buildings. So let me make it bigger so you can see everything. You can also look at the characters. So of course they have a lot of different characters that you can use. Different, different environments and pieces in the environment that make up a scene like this. So you are basically empowered to, to use this for a lot of different, different games, different levels, a lot of effects and icons as well, all the different props and of course weapons, vehicles and so on. So some of the things that I want to show you is I want to show you the scenes that I, that I pulled this scene from. So they have three different scenes. One of them is the demo. The demo scene is basically the one that we're looking at right now. And they also have a demo characters. And if I go into that one, let me go ahead and resize this so you can see the, the entire character. And if I go here and zoom in, so they have different, different characters that match the environment. So the robots were pretty cool. And you know, you can probably use them. And also if you wanted to use some of the pretty fine animations that are available in the asset store, you're more than welcome to do that. And also this other scene, which is basically a couple of props as well that are that are available, such as garbages and these platforms that are that are really neat. So what I want to show you here is not only the you know the asset that they provide, which is great, but also if you wanted to run something like what I did with the Oculus Quest. So if you wanted to do something like that, it's actually very simple. So all I had to do is I went to you have to go to the scenes and the scenes for the science science fiction city then expand the folder and then of course go to the scenes and i pull everything from the scene you can build one if you want from scratch but i decided just to pull this one since this one looked great and then just you can either copy the entire demo scene game object i opted from just basically selecting everything that is inside because i didn't want to have that as the parent and then basically scroll all the way down until the last one and then just copy it and then the other thing that i did is i went into scenes and i clone one of the scenes that i already created for the previous so i walk you through a scene that also seen the studios provided which is basically this one and what i did is i basically remove everything and i clone it so the new one that we're working on with is the vr movement with nate with future so if i double click on that one I can show you that that's the one that I show you in the demo at the beginning of the video. So if you expand the environment, you can see all the different props and, and you know parts of the environment that are available there. I can also show you the grabbables. I'm, I haven't added any grabbables just yet, but I will on the next video so that we can interact with some of the components that are in the environment. The other thing that I did is in the previous video, I was using an OVR player controller. And the OVR player controller is the one that Oculus provides to you. But I created my own. The reason why I created my own is because I wanted to make sure that this one had the controllers for the Oculus Quest. Since this is more specific for the Oculus Quest, you can see if I go into the left controller that I have just the model available for the Oculus Quest. Where the one that Oculus provides, they give you a helper class that basically toggles between either the Oculus Go or the Oculus Rift. So for me, I think I'm gonna focus on the Oculus Quest for now. And that's what I wanted to create a component for this. And if you basically click on select, you can see that this is the one that I'm using. This other one right here, if we drag it and drop it, is one that I also created before, but it doesn't have the, it doesn't have the control for Oculus. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna rename that we can basically call this one VR Play Controller Basic, and we can call this one Advanced. The Advanced one is the one that is going to have the controller. Okay, so let's go ahead and I think this works. So once I once I did that and I created a new prefab, I basically just drag and drop the the controller into the scene. So you can see that I'm basically starting right here. That's where my player controller is at. Let me go ahead and collapse this. And if I go to here, you can see that that's where I'm starting and that's the position that we were starting when I run the demonstration. And I also have the OVR camera rig, just like I do on every video. And also the left hand, left hand anchor and the right hand anchor 
with the left controller for Oculus Quest and the right controller Oculus Quest. So that's basically everything that I have and then you can basically walk around this scene. So on the next video I'll show you how to add different components so that we can interact and pick up items. We might be able to interact with some of the computers. We can play with some of those as well. So I'll be thinking about what to show you on the next video but the main thing here was to show you that this asset can be incorporated and you can use it for the for your oculus quest development so thank you very much guys all right guys thank you very much for watching this video i really appreciate your time and if you have any questions about what i just showed you please let me know in the comments also make sure that you check out gamedev.net because they have amazing resources for game developers also find me in patreon.com where i'm posting information about what i'm doing behind the scenes and also early access to source code thank you very much guys